nothing, absolutely nothing, can justify the barbaric acts committed by Hamas. Deliberately killing civilians, taking children, women and men hostage, what this terrorist organization committed are crimes against humanity, in line with its chief goal, the obliteration of Israel. We condemn them in the strongest possible terms. And I stand here in the name of the Green CFA in full solidarity with the victims and their loved ones. As well put by US author Frank Herbert, atrocity has no excuses. No mitigating argument. Atrocity never balances or rectifies the past. Atrocity merely arms the future for more atrocity. Yes. Israel has the right and duty to defend its citizens in full compliance with international humanitarian law. This means that the response to crime cannot be more crime and that atrocities suffered do not provide a permission for revenge. Israel's legitimate fight against Hamas is turning into the collective punishment of two million Gazawis, half of them are children, trapped under an illegal siege they are either forced into an impossible relocation or risk being killed by Sahal's attacks, as more than 3,000 were already. No less than Israeli victims, Palestinian victims, deserve our full solidarity. Dear colleagues, the world is staring into the abyss. The European Union must stand united in calling for an immediate ceasefire so as to allow the creation of humanitarian corridors and the safe return and unconditional return of hostages. We must be unanimous in our efforts to demand the respect of international humanitarian law by all actors. We must collectively step up our efforts to relaunch a political process that will make a two-state solution viable. There's no other choice. If we want Israelis to live in security, if we want Palestinians to live in dignity, and if we are serious about ensuring their coexistence. For there will be no peace until terrorist organizations such as Hamas are neutralized. There will be no peace as long as Palestinian territories are illegally occupied and Palestinians' rights denied and their resources confiscated. There will be no peace until democratic institutions are firmly restored and anchored. There will be no peace until Palestinians and Israelis are both free to live, speak, move, work, love, as they wish, in safety, regardless of their origins and beliefs. Je vous remercie. Merci.